Hi, it's Emma Nago. So I'm doing this makeup tutorial today and this is using the MUA Spring Break Palette that my friend Steph got for me. So I'm using seven of these um, eyeshadows on my eyes today and I absolutely love this palette. The eyeshadows are so pigmented. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the look. So here it is up close. So don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like the look and watch in high definition um, for the best picture quality. And I also just quickly wanted to mention that this tutorial is um, not a full face tutorial. I start with my foundation, concealer, powders, eyebrows and contour already done. And I know a lot of you guys like my full face videos, but I also know that some of you guys um, prefer if I cut these things out. Um, and just focus on like the important parts of the tutorial and since this look is um, based off of an eyeshadow palette I cut out my foundation and eyebrow routines so yeah I just quickly wanted to mention that but don't worry if you love full face tutorials I will do plenty of those videos as well um, you know I just want to kind of switch things up a little bit but yeah anyways I don't think I have anything else to say so um, let's just get on with this and here comes the tutorial okay so to start off I already have on my primer my foundation concealer powders and contour and I also filled in my brows so we are going to go ahead and do the eyes together now and to prime my eyes I'm going to use ELF's Essentials Eyelid Primer in sheer so just dab a little bit on each eyelid and go ahead and blend it out with your finger or your brush, whatever you prefer. Okay, so now we are going to grab the MUA Spring Break Palette. So with my eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. I'm going to take this highlight color, it's called Aurora. And I'm going to apply this underneath my brows. So with my flat eyeshadow brush from Ego Tools, I'm going to take this color, it's called Share Up. And after I pick up that eyeshadow, I'm going to spray my brush. And I'm going to apply this color on the eyelid. And just wetting the brush just makes the pigment more intense. So with a blending brush, this one is from Urban Decay, I'm going to take this matte um, light brown color. It's called Refine. And I'm going to apply this color in the crease. And with the same brush, I'm going to take this color. It's called Serral. And this is going in the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with my clean 224 brush from uh, MAC. And just blend everything together. And then I go back in with the lid color and reapply that because it did get blended a little bit away. And again, I have sprayed my brush before I go in with the eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my trusty NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. And I'm going to apply this around my tear duct. So right there. And I blend it out with my finger. Then I'm going to take the mint green color from the palette. It's called Sea Foam. And I'm using the other end of my Urban Decay brush. And I just pack that right on that base. And it's just a gorgeous color. And I'm just going to blend it a tiny bit up into the other colors on the eyelid and then the other eye then with my elf small precision brush i'm going to take this color it's called amber and again i spray my brush and then i apply this color along my lower lashes and then i do my other eye so with an even smaller brush i'm going to take the color up here it's called spare mint and i'm just going to apply a tiny bit of this right along my tear duct just to brighten and then the other tear duct and now we are actually done with um, all the eyeshadows so for eyeliner I'm going to use my e.l.f. black liquid eyeliner
So once I have my winged liner on, I'm going to go in with my eye bright from um, Benefit. And this is going on the water lines. Then I'm going to curl my lashes with Shu Uemura's eyelash curler. And for mascara, I'm going to use my Born Pretty Story mascara. So I just did one coat to my upper lashes. I am going to apply some mascara to the bottom as well, but um, I just want the mascara on the upper lashes to dry first, so I don't smear it all up on my eyelids. So once you have your lower lash mascara on, you just want to wait for it to dry. And once it's dry, you can go back in with a little bit of eyeshadow, just in case um, you got any mascara on your lower lid. Okay, so the falsies I'm going to use are the natural um, lashes from um, e.l.f. with my Adele lash grip in clear Okay, so of course my camera was not recording when I did these two steps, but um, I'm just going to go over it real quick. So I applied a deep throat blush by NARS right on the apples of my cheeks. And then I applied um, NARS Albatross um, highlighter right on the tops of my cheekbones and down my nose and on my cupid's bow. So now we can go ahead and do the lips. So I want to do a nude lip today. So I'm going to use these two lipsticks from e.l.f. This one is fantasy and this one is nostalgic. So I'm going to start out with the darker one, fantasy, and I'm just going to dab it on my lips. And then I go over with nostalgic. Just to lighten up the color a bit and I pat it out with my finger. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. So don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye bye.